Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another editing tutorial. I hope you're all having a fantastic day so far. So, do you guys ever find yourself in the situation where you set up your tripod, you set up your camera, you set up the best shot in the world, you're about to take the picture and then somebody walks into the shot? Tourists, man, they're just always in the shot, like not knowing when you're gonna take the picture. And they can be really annoying at times getting in the way of your shots, your landscape pictures, whatever it is, the tourist attraction that you add. So, today I'm gonna show you how to do this. Pretty cool, right? We're gonna get rid of those pesky tourists in your shots, messing up the beautiful Instagram bangers. Let's get into the video. Right, so starting off my tutorial in Lightroom as I usually do, I'm gonna start with this really simple picture that I have of Lion's Head in Cape Town, South Africa. A beautiful picture, but we have the seagull that's just flying past the picture. Even though I was meant to do that, I'm just gonna be using this as an example to show you how to get rid of objects that you might find in your picture. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you three ways to remove objects or people or whatever it is in your photo that you don't want there. The first one is just gonna be on Lightroom and this is gonna be really quick and easy if you have something small in the picture. For the second image, I'm gonna show you this one of Quinn blocking beautiful Table Mountain. Tourists always getting in the way of this beautiful nature that we have in South Africa. Quinn was actually meant to be in this picture just to give you a bit of background but for the sake of the tutorial I'm going to show you how to remove it. But starting out with this picture of the seagull flying across here, what you're going to want to do is go over to your toolbar and at the top right you'll find the spot removal tool. You can also just press Q on your keyboard which will be a sh quick shortcut to getting there. So all you're going to want to do is come over to the seagull here and make your brush a bit bigger and literally just do one click and then Lightroom should recognize the space around it and replace that with another part of the sky. All you have to do then is hit enter and your picture should be good to go. And there we go, the seagull is pretty much gone. Now that was a really good example to show you how something can be taken out in Lightroom. But Lightroom isn't the best at removing objects out of photos for the most part. That was just a really simple one and as we saw the seagull didn't really have much on going around it so it was really easy to do. But if we have Quinn with a more complicated background over here if we try the same thing and just brush over Quinn, we'll see how Lightroom doesn't really pick up on where it should replace the object. So if we press enter, you can see that it's not the best. Even if we do it a bit more detail, you can get better results. But again, Lightroom just doesn't automatically replace their objects the best as Photoshop does. So in saying that, I'm gonna go over to Photoshop and show you the other two ways to remove subjects from your photos. What you can do as well if you are editing in Lightroom is just right click on the photo, go to edit in, and just choose Adobe Photoshop. So once your photo is open in Photoshop, the two ways of doing this is by using the stamp tool and also using the content aware delete tools. First off, I'm just gonna show you the clone stamp tool and that is this tool on the left over here. And then I'm just gonna zoom into my picture so that we have a bit more detail going on here. And basically what this does is replace the image with other pixels within the image. And you choose this other place where it needs to copy the pixels to the place you're trying to replace. So in order to do this, you just hold an alt on your keyboard, select the place in the image that you want to copy from. So I'm just going to choose the space over here and then move over your brush to the subject. Maybe just make it a bit bigger so that it brushes over Quinn over here. And as we can see, the crosshair on the right is where the pixels are coming from and you literally just brush over your subject and that replaces it. So nice and quick and easy. Make sure not to go too far over to the left, otherwise we can see how it starts to replace Quinn in the middle of nowhere. I'm just going to press undo there and do this properly. Maybe just making the brush even smaller. So all you're gonna want to do is just brush over her and make sure that the object you are replacing matches with the space you are coming from so that it all fits in very cohesively. See if we don't get the lining exactly perfect the horizon or the space where you're copying can be a bit off and then it's pretty obvious to see that you replace somebody in the picture. So just make sure that you get that bang on. Just bring a little over from the left and then we do the C over here quick. Now when it gets to the waves here, it's gonna be a bit more complicated. You're gonna to have to be a bit more careful with where you replace the waves and just be very intricate with that. So when it gets down to the rock over here where Quinn's feet are starting to interact with the foreground, you're just gonna to wanna to be a bit more careful with this and maybe just make the brush size a bit smaller. So just making that smaller, still just brushing from the ocean. You can do that with her left foot as well. Just being really careful with it and we can zoom right into this to be very intricate. 
So there we go, Quinn is officially removed from the picture, but we can see how it's not done the best job. And you have these little soft areas here where you can see that it's not how the picture should look. And also that took a really long time to do. So my third way for the tutorial is using the content aware delete tool. And this will take you literally two seconds to do instead of going over and brushing everything. So I'm just gonna reset this to how we had it going all the way back to the original photo. So what you're gonna wanna do is go over to the lasso tool on the left here. This is just to select your object and you're gonna wanna try and get as close as you can to your subject, just drawing this line along the edge of her. Just go all the way around, follow along the lines and just do that really quickly for the sake of the tutorial and up all the way back and around and if you just let go that should make the selection for you and then all you're going to want to do is press shift delete and that'll bring up the full toolbox and make sure that where it says content you have content aware checked and just press ok and that's pretty much all looking much better than the original as you can see the rocks are super clear and sharp and it looks pretty much like we took the picture without Quinn there. The only problem is the waves over here, but then again, we can just go into the stamp tool and just make slight corrections to that instead of drawing in the whole picture as we did before. So once we've done that, the picture is looking very solid. We finally got those tourists out the pictures and we have a beautiful view of Table Mountain. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you guys find that helpful. Shout out to Quinn, the pesky tourist, always getting in the shots, always getting in the way of Table Mountain, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. How, how did it feel being removed from the picture? It hurt. It, did the brush hurt you a lot? Yeah, it did. It wasn't very soft. It was like... <laughs> <laughs> we removed Quinn hard from that picture. Anyway, shout out to Quinn. Thanks for being in the tutorial. Go check out on Instagram at Q31. But in saying that, I'm going to wrap up today's video. If you guys did like the video, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And in the meantime, stay weird. Don't die. Make it happen. Make it happen. Yeah!